the whole point about this Instagram Live is just um, I want to talk about AUVI, the stock today. You know, we killed it today in, in chat. People were really scared. And then they're telling me, why are you doing about Don't touch that. It's a low floater and all that. And I, 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 for me, I always help my members first. I stop my training. I, I go and I, you know, I reply to them and all this stuff. And then I turn back and I'm like, fuck, I missed the whole shit. So um, it doesn't matter to me. The extra money is not going to do anything for my life. But this education will help the members significantly. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. For me, this is this is fun. <laughs> I trade to educate, you know, it's nice to make money too. You know, we did very well today, this week, this month. <laughs> but um, more importantly, as long as you guys are learning, right? So um, I want to keep it short and sweet, guys. So what set me off before I get into that trade? And I help people for years. I've been helping people for years. I mean, decades even. And they always ask me, hey, uh, you know, all these advice and then, you know, I don't give a shit if they join or pay me or any of that crap. We just started MIC like over two years ago. If I wanted money, I would have joined. I should have started this shit a decade ago. I hope my friends get rich off this. Shit. I don't give a fuck about that, right? Because I do well on my own. I really don't need it stuff. So, and I'm a simple guy, man. I don't, I don't need much in life. Just give me good pho, good food, and good sushi, right? Um. And so people ask me a lot all the time, what broker should they use? What broker should they use? And I always tell them, it's like, dude, I could use any broker in the world I want. Me and Alex can literally use anything. People are paying us money to fucking use their shit. But, you know, we use the ones that we feel will help the members the most. We use the ones that are the most honest. The ones that are not raping their members, not char overcharging, cheapest locates in the game, not marking up their locates, things like that. And so we settled upon... Cobra trading, okay? Cobra trading is what we recommend for the USA guys over pattern day trader. If you are international, we partnered up with Trade Zero because international, they, they don't have much option. And you know those guys are honest. We met them in person and they're really nice guys. So Trade Zero, if you're international, they don't require pattern day trader because you know pattern day trader is only applies to USA residents, right? And so if you're USA, you cannot go overseas and do this stuff, right? So, and so that's why we have Cobra. Cobra and Locates are ridiculously cheap, man. It's, a, it's I, I put, I'll, I'll retweet it right now. I'll retweet it after this. It's, it's, a, it's a fraction of what other people like Centerpoint is charging. And so this guy has been asking me what to use. And obviously I've been telling him Cobra, Cobra. And then today I got a text, hey, pal, I just opened an account with Centerpoint. Can you do me a favor and tell me how much this locate is on Cobra? Because obviously, I guess he's overpaid or something. I mean, he's overcharging them. I, and I'm like, what the fuck? And so I am so fucking pissed off. And I'm just like, he goes, I know, man. I, I, I joined this. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I've been telling you to join Cobra and not getting raped. And now you're getting raped and you're asking me for rates like Cobra because you didn't join up the fucking Cobra? You see how stupid that fucking shit is? And I asked him why. Oh, because I got lazy because Cobra didn't have an online application to fill out. You stupid, stupid, lazy guy. I, I just, I mean, I'm a nice guy. But, you know, when I hear shit like that, it pisses me the fuck off. You are so fucking lazy because they don't have an online feeling. You have to feel this shit out by hand. You know how long it takes you? So let's say it saves you 30 minutes. Now you'll be pick, getting raped on locates and fees for the rest of your fucking life. Same fucking shit as, I'll give you an example, uh, MIC. MIC is so fucking inexpensive, guys. We're the only ones helping people, for real. Everybody else is out for the fucking money. I don't need to do this shit. You know, I know every single fucking chat room guy is out there, okay? They, most of them, a lot of them, I'm not going to say shit, but dude, they, they, they do not compare to us. We're the only ones that are working our ass off because we truly care about our members. Everybody else is pumping and dumping. And, and, and the thing is, like, I don't really care. I, they are joined on other chat rooms because it's $50 cheaper or some fucking stupid shit like that. But then their guru over there don't help them for shit. And so I spend all my fucking free time answering so many fucking messages for fucking free. Because I don't really give a fuck because I feel bad about them. And I, and I don't want to fucking tell them, like, you cheap fuck. All they can ever say is, I can't afford MIC. You stupid fuck. 
fifty dollars, a hundred dollars a month, a fucking month, and you can't afford that shit, so you join a stupid shit and you end up losing all your fucking money. And so this is what happens that pisses me off the most. They go over there to try to save a hundred dollars. They end up losing their whole account. Oh fuck! I I chased their alerts. I blew up my account, pal. How much did you pay? I paid five thousand dollars over there. I'm like, what you stupid fuck? Because the guru is posting giant P and nails or whatever the fuck it may be, okay? And they they are not getting the help they want. So what they do is they come back. Okay, I get a free trial, dude. I lost all my money because I went somewhere else. Are you stupid asshole? I I'm done. I'm just I am done being fucking nice. There's only nice to a certain point because you get a because it's 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 tough love, man. I'm too nice because they know that I can answer their questions. They go over there for some fucking reason because they're like. Oh, this guy Bao is too nice. His shit must not be effective, does not work because he's not as aggressive and, and an asshole and a typical Wall Street trader like these other guys. He's not flashing fancy Lambos. He's not wearing a fancy suit, you know, stupid shit like that. And to be honest, those are the fake fucks that have to flash that shit. I don't need a fast shit. You know, I don't need any of your fucking money. We do very well on our own. What I piss off is the fact that they, I know they will go broke. It always happens. You go over fucking there, no one teaches shit. You're a new trader, no one's gonna teach you shit. They're gonna pump and alert their shit, which they already bought well before they alert to you, you dumb assholes. You guys are stupid as fuck to be chasing alerts. And this is why we don't do fucking alerts. If you go to MIC, you see the watch list. We, Alex posts what we do. And we do exactly the same shit. You'll see our charts, we post our charts. You don't think we can post an alert and make a shitload of money off of our thousands of members? But we don't do that. You see how easy it is for me to go and pump anything or go up? That's what they're doing, dude. And you, you guys are so stupid. Fucking stupid. I, I just can't take it anymore. This get rich, lazy fuck mentality. Go broke. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna. If you want to get rich quick, go broke. Do not come back to me and learn anymore. Seriously, I, I fucking had it. Because what, what, what happens is this, dude. They, they go over there. They lose tens of thousands of dollars being pumped. And then they go to MIC and they try to haggle over $100, $200 a month. You're losing $20,000. You're losing $5,000, $10,000. You're losing your life savings getting scammed. And now you're going to go back and give me a sad story that you got scammed. And you want a discount off of a fucking $200 membership. You see how stupid that shit is? I'm, I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm done with that, seriously. It's act, so I'm going to do the reverse. If you lost all your money because you're stupid, and you know you're stupid because you want to get rich quick, and you already talked to me before, it's a difference when you don't know who MIC is, okay? I mean, if you don't know who MIC is, that's fucking completely fine. I, I have huge sympathy for that. And that's why we are out here trying to educate everybody. But if you know who MIC is, and I know you spoke to me already, and you go somewhere else and you lose all your money, don't expect to come back. If you can come back, I'm going to raise the... I want to treat you just like everybody else. Okay? Don't give me no fucking hard stop story. And, and it just set me up because of the same fucking shit. I'm telling people to go to Cobra Trading. And this guy, he's a nice guy, whatever. But his excuse, I was too lazy to fill out a fucking form. And so now you're hitting me up and asking for locate prices? Because you're, you're, you're ass getting raped somewhere else. You see the stupidity. Because we are too fucking nice. Seriously, we are fucking way too fucking nice. Look at, look at me now, man. I, I, I mean, this is how we are. You know, like, we, I, I'm here to help my, uh, the members. I, 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 my whole trading, I'm always looking at the chat room, alerting them, showing them the trades, showing them my charts in real time, things like that. You know, Alex does the same thing. We pause our trading so that we can help members. Who the fuck does that? Everybody else out for themselves because you know why? They cannot teach worse shit because their system only works for themselves. And that's why they need to post these giant ass p to lure you. They're not going to answer your fucking questions during trading. When they lose, they're going to get pissed off and turn off the computer. We're the only ones that educate. If I lose, you'll know I lose. Okay? Fucking members see it all the time. I... I I would love to fucking educate people. But you know what, man? The process fucking works. I lose when I deviate from the process. Okay? And so we have this whole thing. But, you know, today set me off because I'm like, dude, can you give me fucking low-key prices at Cobra? I'm like, what the fuck? And then the reason's like, 
Cobra doesn't have an online application. I'm like, oh my god, dude. I mean, I, I just, I just kind of blew it up. I, I just can't fucking do anything. Um, so you know what, guys? The guys that are listening now that are fucking too cheap to join MIC. You dumb fucks. Seriously, you guys are dumb as fuck. You know what, man? You're, you are spinning your wheels to try to save fucking two hundred bucks a month. You know, in the course of a year, you could have been learning and be a fucking consistent trader right now. There's so many people trader, and you are trying to save a two hundred dollars. And then, but at the same time, it's like I don't care about that. You don't need to join MIC. I don't give a fuck. MIC is not made for get rich lazy fucks. You know, the people that are learning at MIC, they want to put in the hard work. They want to change their life forever. They are not afraid of hard work. If you're afraid of hard work, I don't fucking want to be there. Because I see members and I scream at them. Seriously, dude, we, we kick people out too. I don't need fucking people to be there to corrupt the environment. Because I know if you're a lazy ass who do not watch videos, who do not... I have people, like I post all this stuff. And then the very next question, oh... Uh, is this stock blah, blah, blah? I'm like, dude, look up at the post right above you. You have to fucking do work for yourself. You cannot be spoon fed like a fucking baby. You want to be spoon fed like a baby? You're going to be fucking babied all your life and be a loser. I am fucking deadly serious, guys. Put in hard work. I woke up at 3.30 a.m. today. You know why? To get my locates. But more importantly, I don't give a fuck about that. I don't need that. It's because I want to fucking get up so that I can understand the whole market dynamic, create a game plan with Alex so that we can teach the members. So since 3.30, I get up, but I'm so fucking lazy myself. So my lazy is this. I wake up at 3.30, but that, I'm in the fucking toilet <laughs> checking my Instagram. And, and you know what? I, I read people's messages, uh, you know, ask me questions. So that's why I did for 20 minutes. So I show up. I show up today around 4 a.m. my time. I mean, 4 fucking a.m. For me, that's late, right? I mean, do I need to do this? Who the fuck does this? What other guru do you know wakes up at fucking 3.30? These other motherfuckers are coming into the market half an hour, 10 minutes, two minutes before they open. Do you think they give a fuck about you? Alex is up even before me. He lives in New Jersey. I live in fucking California. I am up at, I'm out of alarms at 3 30 fucking a.m. Okay, think about it. Who the fuck in my position would do that? There are times I want to quit this shit. Seriously, I don't need this fucking shit, guys. I don't, I, I want to get drunk. I want to live my fucking life. Retired. I don't even fuck. I make enough money every day to fucking be fucking do whatever the fuck I want. But we are still here. 3.30, 4 a.m. Helping members, dude. And I am fucking still texting members. It's fucking midnight. Okay? We we have after hours. We have all that shit. Okay? And so I'm so sick of these motherfuckers because we're too nice. I mean, fuck, dude. Who the fuck would answer your PMs? Who the fuck would talk to you like this? Who the fuck would throw a meetup? This is why we are getting trolled. We're getting trolled because you know what, man? These The trolls are the fucking competitors. You see them doing anything for the members? I mean, who the fuck wakes up this early? Seriously, dude. I, like one big famous chat room guy, uh, I, I fucking try to log in. Their chat room doesn't even open until 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. I'm like, what the fuck? And some other guy just gets on the uh, fucking, comes in two minutes before the open, starts fucking boom, 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 boom. Pum, 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 pum. I mean, like, dude, seriously, dude. So I'm going to tell you right now, dude, if you want to fucking learn a trade, this is it. MIC is the only fucking shit. If you want to get rich quick, don't even fucking come here because it requires work. And the last thing I need you to do is to pollute the good people that really want to learn. We have a bunch of awesome guys that really want to fucking learn. Do not come here with your fucking bullshit attitude and start bitching and being spoon fed. Okay, guys? And so with that, I want to talk about AUVI. <sighs> Sorry, man. I mean, I, this shit just fucking pisses me off. I mean, you can understand, right, guys? I mean, this this is the whole thing, dude. We we are up here. I am fucking waking up, and I'm just pissed off. Some days I can take it, guys. Some other days I'm just tired as fuck. I'm human just like the rest of you guys. And, you know, it's like, I, I, I look at me. I'm still fucking helping people right now, okay? Um, whew. You know, one last thing about that, man. Look at our testimonials on Instagram. No one has that shit. We're the only ones. Everyone else is a fake ass motherfucker. 
Okay? I'm, I'm fucking like... I've been around so fucking long, dude. I don't really need this shit. I've taught so many fucking people. For free, mind you. I don't give a fuck about this. But you know this... But you know what? Free can only go so far, guys. I want to I say why we charge. We charge because... Fuck, my time is fucking valuable. Alex's time is valuable. Like, I, I, it, my free shit I've done for a decade now. It's very minuscule. You do not get to this detail. We created thousands of fucking videos. We have to pay people to help us fucking, you know, the, the infrastructure. It's not fucking free. Everyone's time. Is, dude, fucking the Amazon guy, Bezos. He's a fucking 200 trillionaire, billionaire. Why isn't he giving shit for free? Why don't you go and fucking harass his ass? I we are nowhere near fucking Bezos' level, and we are waking up at three thirty fucking a.m., four a.m. to help people. Go fucking harass them. Fuck you, trolls. You want to fucking handle shit? That's why trolls will never come to meet up. I will whoop this fucking ass. They know they're all fake as fuck. It's probably a bunch of guys with a bunch of bots trolling us, calling us a scammer. You will never hear anybody getting scammed. This is why we walk out in public and not be afraid. Who the fuck has a meetup in public? No one. Because they're afraid to get fucking jumped. I walk around. I don't give a fuck. I am here doing Instagram live every week just like Alex. We walk around. It's a fucking fact. And we're getting trolled. You know, to, to be honest, if we don't get trolled, I get scared. I'm like, oh man. I tell Alex all the time. It's been a long time since we got trolled. Are we losing our luster? Is someone else the hot chick? I want to be the hot chick. Because, you know, if you're getting trolled, you're doing something right. But there's a, but, but there's a point to, it's just, a, it's just, this trolling just gets so fucking stupid. Now the troll's probably going to say, oh, Bal curses a lot now. <laughs> you know, he's trying to stir up trouble. But anyways, guys, I, I needed to get that off my chest because, you know, I, we work way too hard, Alex and I and Tosh and everybody else at, at MIC to get disrespected like this. Um... And you know, man, and enough's enough, guys. Seriously, enough's enough. How much fucking questions can you ask? You ask one question and we give you the answer. That's worth more than the fucking price of the membership. This shit I want to teach you right now is going to be worth more than any fucking membership you got. Okay? Here, I'm going to start now with AUVI. You remember this fucking stock, guys? AUVI. We woke up this morning very early. It was $12.50. And so this is our process. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how, how you can make money consistently shorting every fucking day. This is as simple as it gets. But simple does not mean easy, guys. Okay, because you have to have discipline on that. So AUVI woke up this morning. We checked out the float. It was one million float. But it was easy to borrow. So I was like, holy fuck. You know, when shit is easy to borrow like that, it's a big ass trap, guys. I'll give you the secret to fucking squeezes. In order to have a big ass stock squeeze, you need to have trapped shorts. Shorts are the natural bidders in a stock. People think it's a long, no. Whoever tells you that, they don't know what the fuck they're doing, okay? Shorts are the natural bidders of a stock because they're always trying to cover to get out. And if you squeeze them, if they are stuck, they will keep bidding and fighting each other. That's why squeezes happen. Squeezes do not happen because longs keep buying. Longs cannot keep buying forever. Long will get in, maybe add some, and then look to sell. Shorts are the reverse. They're shorting, but if it keeps going up, they keep shorting and they keep fighting each other, okay? So if a stock does not have many locates, it means that not many shorts in the stock, the chances are it's gonna go down. An example would be SC, SCKT today. Very hard to get relocated. It's like seven, 10 cents a share. So the stock just kept on going down. There are no fucking shorts to squeeze it. So the fear with AUVI is it's easy to borrow. It means that, holy shit. So we were all scared. So when I saw that, I'm not touching. We warned everybody, do not short this shit. Do not short this shit until it's broken. And so, People ask, when is it broken? The simple thing would be, look at the VWAP. The moment the VWAP is broken, now it's like, okay, but VWAP is, is kind of like tricky because you get trapped because if it's too close, it can hover, okay? But, they, but there's a point we call the death line, okay? There's a point of the death line where if it breaks, everybody's underwater and it's game the fuck over. But the fear is this, guys. The fear is, is a million float supposedly on paper 
and it's easy to borrow. It could be big ass trap. So we avoided this. But when I started seeing all these pumpers come in, chat room pumps and the stock didn't go up. And I'm like, holy shit. And, and this is a secret, guys. I'm telling you, I don't even fucking look, man. A million float should trade like crazy. It should go up parabolically. If people are fighting, it should go up. Why is it not? Why is it going down? Why is someone selling? So this is the reading the tape shit that I really don't like to talk about because it's like, if you misread the tape, you can get blown away. But just draw your lines. Every support got broken. Every support, someone is selling. Someone has shares, dude. You know? Just because it says a million float doesn't mean there could not be hidden dilution. And there was hidden dilution. It's in the filing, guys. There's a five million warrant at $5 a share. Five million shares, someone can fucking do it. So they pump it up so they can dump it. This is a recent IPO too, so they just want to get the fuck out. How do we find this out? Alex actually told me. You know, Alex looked it up and how did he know? We have a, a, a filings expert person create a series of videos on how to figure out hidden dilution, how to read the filing, how to find out warrants, how to find out shelves, and all this stuff. And so Alex showed me this fucking, this filing from, from um, like a month ago. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I'll, I'll post it. But the, the guys at MIC know about this, okay? And so these are things that you need to understand. So what happens is, you know, you can just purely trade the chart. And if you purely trade the chart, you'll be okay if you have a stop loss in place. So for me, I wasn't scared. The stock was so fucking broken. And so I, I started shorting as much as I can between $10 and $10.50. It was like a dollar deviated underneath the VWAP. And then I'm like, so what happens is this, when you see hidden dilution, it may or not may not be they're diluting, okay? It's always after the fact. So if this thing starts to sell down and, and someone keeps hammering and selling it, then you can look back and go, okay, that explains why it's going down because of the hidden dilution. If you didn't know about that filing, you, you'd be like, oh man, I'm too scared. They're, they're trapping, they're trapping, it's a million. So you, you paint the picture. I always say you paint the picture. I always start with price action. That dominates everything. I don't go fuck if there's hidden dilution or not. If the stock is strong, I don't touch it. I only short the stock that is broken. And we explain what broken is in MIC. So, you know, I don't wanna get into that. But the point is AUVI was very broken. It should not be that broken for a 1 million float stock, guys. This is where experience comes in. So you paint the picture, you couple it together, you add it all up, hidden dilution. You don't know if they're selling, but the fact that you can see the tape and someone keeps hammering it down, look at the chart, guys. Here, look at this shit. It keeps fucking going down. That doesn't look like a low float squeeze. In the morning, you take a look at the volume profile. Underneath this, everybody's underwater. So once under that, game the fuck over. And so I shorted a 10 on the bounce. I waited for the bounce. I've shorted these two areas here and made money. Same strategy every day at MIC, okay? The reason I'm showing you guys this is this. No alerts needed, no alerts. You learn the strategy, you learn the process and you become now self-sufficient. Lots of people in the room, when I post my charts, they're like, holy shit, Bao, my charts are similar to yours. It should be, because we're learning the same process. And the moment that happened, I'm so happy. They have just been certified as self-sufficient. No alerts, but they got the same charts as Alex and I. Bingo. The light comes on, they're like, I got it, Bao. You see what I'm saying? But if you keep chasing alerts like these dumb fucks trying to get rich, you're going to lose your ass. And you know what's going to happen? Don't come to me and begging me for a discount. You know, you put in the fucking work. Put in the work. And so I wanted to show that example is because there's another room that's the completely opposite of us. that has no clue about this shit. And I love it because I, I make so much fucking money off them. The whole industry of shorting makes money off them. The good shorts, that is. So this is how shorts, this is how stocks work, right? First, it goes up. The dumb shorts, the stupid shorts, the uneducated shorts, they get wiped out. So first shorts get wiped out. The uneducated shorts get wiped out. 
And then the uneducated longs go bankrupt. Because the longs keep buy, 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 buy. Because this chat room guy keeps saying buy, 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 buy. And then boom, what happens? Boom, it tanks down. It will never bounce. It will never fucking bounce. You will sell at the dead bottom because you hit your max pain. Take a look at this shit. This happens every fucking day. Short, early shorts get killed. They cover the top. Okay? Because the longs keep buying. And what happens? The longs think they're up. They can never fucking lose. What happens? Done. The moment it starts breaking down, game the fuck over. So first, early shorts go bankrupt, and then the longs go bankrupt. This pattern's happened all the time. You remember my old classic fuck you pattern? I've been doing this shit for a long time, guys. <laughs> you see this middle finger? Right there. So that's it, guys. Learn to be self-sufficient. And you, it's like, I, I use this analogy a lot, fishing, right? I can either give you a fucking fish and I'll feed you for a day. Or I can teach you to fish. And now you be fed for the rest of your life. Okay, guys? So don't be fucking lazy. Learn how to trade on your by yourself. Not by yourself, but meaning like for yourself. And that one last thing, guys. Learning by yourself does not fucking work. You're, you're going to be fucking losing all your fucking money before you even learn anything. It's kind of like, how would you even know? Like, I'll give you an example. I've been trading for so long, but I didn't even know what VWAP was because my charts don't have it. And back then, we didn't have social media to have that. So I didn't know VWAP. Imagine if I fucking knew VWAP 20 years ago. How better of a trader I would be. But now what happens is this. I can spot VWAP on any fucking chart. Because I had because I had to do that manually. So I learned to do that on my own. But it took me years. Not many people would be, be able to do that. So that's what I'm trying to say. Just stop your ego. Fucking learn the right way to begin with. And stop trying to... Figure this shit out your own. Because if it was easy, everybody would be rich, guys. Everybody rich. But you know what, man? The people that are educated in MIC will be fucking rich. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later.